All right. I got an email here. It says, Andy, can you please give me a cool alias? So what'd you do, Andy? So what's what's the alias what's of the this person? So I came up with Abigail Scott Dunaway, who apparently is our, our emailer is actually from Portland, Oregon. So I looked up famous women in Portland and I came up with Abigail. She apparently uh, was one of the first people on the Oregon Trail in 1851. Her husband suffered a uh, farming accident. So she ended up having to support the family. She moved them to Portland. She started a women's uh, rights newspaper called the New Northwest. She became the first woman to vote in Portland. So she was a pretty cool chick. So I decided I was going to name our, our emailer after Abigail here. Okay. A little history lesson. It's good. Uh, little Oregon Trail. Right. You ever been on that? No. Yeah, I don't think I have either. <laughs> been near it. <laughs> All right. Hi, Andy, Joe, Al. I'm 40, and I've spent most of my life on the Oregon Trail. <laughs> <laughs> most of my life not really paying attention to money or investing. Um, I'm debt-free, but currently only have just over one times my annual income split between the old 401k and my TSP. Base salary is 73000 but I'm currently in a unique position to pick up an extra day of overtime each week, which could, uh, which would almost be an additional $1,600 a month. I'm curious about what my best course of action is in regards to this new money. I'm a renter, and I'd, like, and I'd really like to use it towards a down payment on my first home. But I also know I'm really behind on my retirement savings. Currently, my work takes a mandatory 3.1% towards my pension. Plus, I'm investing 10% into my TSP. They match five. And I'm maxing out a Roth IRA. Based off my current salary, my pension will be around $22,000 a year. Am I too far behind to buy a house? I live in Portland Portland, um, with my significant, significant other. other. So. <laughs> uh, with my so. With my so. <laughs> and our 15-year-old pit bull. Uh, we drive a... 15 year old Pipple, they last, they live that long. Uh, drive a 2005 Corolla and I enjoy a hard seltzer from time to time. Or Thanks. cider. Cider. Oh, I like the hard seltzer. <laughs> he just changed it to what were, he wanted to drink. You were thinking that. I was when being you selfish. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, <laughs> Thanks for your help. Okay. Let's, let's see. Um, okay. So sh- I, I can, I can help this. Okay. I mean, while it's you're doing what that's yours. Okay. Um, yeah, so I'll just make a cu- couple comments. So 3.1% towards pension, 10% plus they match five. So you're already about 18%. We, we tell folks they ought to try to get up to 20% of their savings. So that's actually pretty good. You might be a little bit behind. I'm not sure you're that far behind. No, I don't think she is because let's say she, I bet she's spending 60,000 bucks a year. Yeah. Right? Right. Because if she's got 73, you pay the tax, plus you put the 10% into the, the TSP. That's Plus, right. they're already taking money out for the pension and whatever benefits. I bet it's like, I don't know, 55, 60 grand a year. Yeah. Yeah. 55, right? 60. Exactly. Okay. So let's use $55,000. And she is 40. Um, and she wants to retire at what? 60? Yeah. Call it 60. 20 years. Okay. Present value. Um, so we got uh, $50,000. And then we got 20 years. And we'll use 3.5% inflation. Okay, so that's going to, she needs $100,000. Her living expenses will be roughly $100,000 in retirement. Uh, yeah, with inflation. Okay. Okay. She's going to get a pension of $22,000. And that's probably not adjusted for inflation. Right. But it, it probably would be. But let's just say straight 22, maybe that's today's dollars. I don't know if that's future dollars. Sure. So she needs $75,000. Yeah. You good with that number? Yeah. And Social Security would probably be. 30 at least. Yep. Um, or let's call it 20 even. Okay. Just to be conservative. Yeah. All right. So now that's 55. So she needs about a million bucks. Right. Call it that. In, in that range. In that range. So she's got $100,000 roughly saved. Right. Yep. And then she's got 20 years. And let's say she gets 7% on her money and she's saving with the match 10000 yeah, at least. Yeah. That gets her to 825. Yeah. Super close. Yeah, close. I mean, it, it depends on Social Security, though, because if it's only 20,000, her fixed income's 40 and she needs 60. So she needs 1.5 with that with that math. But it's but pro- I'm assuming that the pension she's in, um, 
she's got a TSP, so she's a federal employee. Yeah. Right. The pension is going to have a cost of living on it, potentially. Yeah, potentially. That, Social Security is going to be a little bit higher than that. Right. And then if her income is going to continue to increase, and she's going to probably continue to increase her savings as that increases. Oh, you know what? She's also maxing out a Roth. So oh, got add that in. So she's, she's really close. Yeah, I, I think so too. I, I think, you know what? Use the extra money for a house. If that's what you want to do, maybe your significant other can help too. Yeah. You're so, you're so get so on board. <laughs> uh, so 1600, but the problem is, is that she's going to have to figure out a down payment. Yeah, true. Right. Because I think she could cash flow. She could get a no. Well, well, she could. And that's why she's thinking she'll save the extra 1600 a month. Okay, but before that, but it's it's it's, it's gonna, gonna take a while. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna take a few years. Right. Um, you know, so you, what's that twenty thousand dollars roughly can, a year? You can do what I did. I borrowed money from my grandma for the down payment. <laughs> or maybe your parents or your rich brother yeah. or whoever. Um, or you could maybe depending on what um she does for the government, there could be some uh, some loan programs, maybe you know. 2% down or 3% down. We've seen some of that. Right. Too. That, well, that's true. Yep. But yeah, I like the $1,600 a month. I think if you continue to put what you're putting in the 401k with the match with the Roth IRA, and then now you have this extra cash of 1600. And if you really want to get a house, I mean, yeah, go, I, go I, for think, it. I think you can do it. Yeah, I think so too. Are you prepared for retirement? Schedule a free financial assessment with an experienced financial professional right online at purefinancial.com.